right, ladies and gentlemen. So how do you think your life might be different if you were not able to use electricity? What would some technologies be that you wouldn't be able to use any longer? Spencer? A car. OK, a car. Alexia? A phone. A phone. Because all those things use electricity. OK. Computer. Computers. Guys, what about, what are some other things besides just technology that you use? Sean? A washer and dryer. A washer and dryer, awesome. Now guys, if you didn't have these things, what would you be using instead? So if you did not have a car? Alan is a bike. A bike. Okay, if you didn't have a phone, what would you have to use instead? Jericho? A go for TV. <laughs> Okay. Um, Instead of a TV? A coloring book. Coloring book. Okay. Instead of using computers, is there a replacement for that? Yes. Anayi? Books. Books. Okay. Guys, we're going to move on. I'm going to give you this paper, and what you're going to do is on one side, you're going to list the technology that uses electricity. And on the other side, you're going to explain how it uses electricity. They give you an example. They said an alarm clock. And how does it use electricity? It uses the ele electricity to make noise so that it wakes you up. Does that make sense? OK. So what you're going to do, this is on your own. On your own for now, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with some different technologies. They can be from home, they can be from the classroom, or any other ones that you can think of. But remember, you need to explain how it uses electricity to work. Okay. Once you get your papers, you may get started. Yes. I'm going to call on a few of you to share out some of the technologies that you came up with. Okay. So, who has a technology that they think that they could share? Isaac. Microwave. A microwave. I saw a few people have microwave. And how does a microwave use electricity? Genesis? It heats it up, so it uses the electricity to produce heat. Veronica, what else does a microwave do besides produce heat to heat up your food? There's a light. Raise your hand if your microwave at home, if you have one, has a light that, that turns on when you open the door. OK. Light. Anything else? Does it do anything else? Jericho? It spins. It spins, so it moves. OK. What else, guys? Carissa. A refrigerator. What is a refrigerator? How does it use electricity? Okay, it produces light. When you open the door, there's a light and it makes your food cold. Okay, thank you. An oven. An oven. Thank you. How does it use electricity? It makes heat. So boys and girls, if I were, how are some of these technologies similar? They all can, um, need electricity to power them. That's right. They all need electricity to power them. OK, how are they different? Because they're built in different ways. They are built in different ways. OK, how else are they different? Stacy? They do different things. OK, what are some of the things that we came up with that they do? So some things keep popping up. Sound, light, heat, and so on. So how could I sort them? They jump into piles with, like, if they uh, are similar to each other. Could you give me a few examples? Like, which ones could I sort together? PS3 and TV. OK, and why am I putting the PS3 and the TV together? Because they, they use the electricity for similar things. Thank you. They use the electricity for similar things. Are there any other ones that you guys would think that we could sort together? Veronica? A bulb. A bulb in the oven. And why would these two go together? 
because they both um, have um, get heat and light. Okay, they both have heat and light. We said that all of these things are made possible by what? Electricity. Carissa? Electricity. We're going to use the energy that comes from electricity and we're going to change it into? Sound. Sound. Or? Heat. Heat, and then I'll put in parentheses cold. Light. 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 Oh, movement. Move. Electricity or electrical energy can then be changed into sound or heat or mechanical energy or light energy. So you know that these fit into a bunch of different categories. What are some things that would go into sound energy? TV. Okay, the TV. Would the TV fit anywhere else, Carissa? And the light. Into light. Have you guys ever gone up to a TV that's been on for a while? What does it feel like? Hot. Hot. Yeah. Since we came up with these, what I would like for you guys to do is I'm going to give you a chance to choose three technologies for you to put onto an index card. When you choose your technology, write the technology here. And then underneath, I would like you to write how it uses the electricity. Okay. When I was able to go to a conference in Boston, one of the things that I finally realized was that all of the EIE kits are structured the same. That in lesson one, we read a book to them. In lesson two, they learn a general understanding of the topic. Lesson three is where they learn more information that they're going to be using for when they finally get to lesson four, where they act as engineers. <laughs>